Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to build a standard LWC component. It would look like a standard, but it would be an LWC component. So what we are going to do is, in this video, we are going to build a very standard looking LWC component. So how it's going to work is, let's say if user goes and clicks on the new button, if I go to this contact right now, and if I click on the new button, as you can see, I can see a pop-up, right? This is how it looks like a pop up and then it has all the fields that are necessary. The name field is required in all this field. And you can also see there is a required at the top, right? Required information is at the top. There's a band at the top showing the contact information. And if I scroll down, there's a band for everything, right? Address information and all other stuff, right? Uh, descrip description information, whatever band that I want, that band is available at to me, right? So these bands are available. There's a new contact written at the top. Now, let's say if, even if I click on save, I get the error, but I don't get the error normally. I get the error here as well. Like we hit the snack and say, saying that review this field, this field is necessary. So let's say if I insert a field, okay, this was a standard uh, validation, right? Now uh, I have one more validation that for if phone number is blank, then it would throw an error. So if I'm again going to click on save, the phone number, phone number can't be blank. This is my custom validation rule that I have written, right? So this is also getting fired but the pop-up is coming at the bottom as you can see if i click on this the pop-up goes the error message goes away if i click again on this uh, the error message comes back if i click on save cancel the pop-up goes away right if i again click on new and if i put some values inside it and click on save and new pop-up will stop and one more pop-up will get opened up right so this is how the basic functionality of a standard record edit, uh, standard form is right standard normal uh, uh, salesforce form is now in this video we are basically going to bring build the same kind of form exactly same kind of form using lwc but before getting started if you like my videos i request you to please subscribe to this channel so before even jumping to it before even jump into the videos just keep in this things mind like for an example i was getting the error message over here lookups are auto populated this have i have a required information text uh, text written over here new contact is written at the top if i save the validation files over here all these things right all these things are already available i am going to build it using a standard uh, lwc component and why am i going through this path is the customer let's say someone has asked me that whenever let's say my lead source is web right if my lead source is web i want to hide a particular field Let's say I want to for, uh, for hide this reporting account number field if my lead source is web. Okay, that's what I want to do. Along with that, if my lead source is, let's say, uh, web, uh, what I want to do is I want to populate the description as well that the uh, lead or the contact created is from the web. So now if you think about it in normal ways, I cannot do it using standard ways, right? For an example, if I wanted to do it, I, I wouldn't be able to do it in this current form, right? We can use dynamic forms, but dynamic form works only in the case of normal view page right it does not works on new and create on edit page right so it does not work in that cases so that's why i'm using lwc so someone might ask why are you not using flows right we can use we can create the same ui using flows as well you can create a divisions and you can divide the fields into the two parts and so on and so forth but if you think about it i can't add this kind of error message at the bottom using flows right so i cannot perfectly achieve the standard ui using flows and neither i cannot use the standard page as well because i want that if my lead source equals to web i want to hide a particular field also i want to populate this description field okay population of the description field can be said can be done using the uh, triggers as well that's not a problem but if i want to hide this field immediately uh, on runtime right now if i make it as web i want to hide this field immediately i think so that cannot be done using normal standard ui yeah neither you can do it using of course you cannot do it using trigger but you can do it using aura component and, uh, and lwc now lwc is more trending that's why we are going to go with lwc also want to hide the field i want to show this kind of error message and i want to uh, populate description field if my lead source equals to web so these are few things that's the reason why i'm going through i'm going i'm going to use the lwc components okay now before even uh, like this is just a video for a discussion now what my thinking would be that okay if i am going to create such kind of component it should be reusable for an example i have a record edit form okay and i have a pop-up right 
I have to create it in such a way that it should work for any object. If I want, I can make it work for object. Uh, I can make it work for contact. If I want, I could should be able to make make it work for account or any other field or any other object that I want to. It should not be specific to certain uh, things, right? It should not be specific to contact. I want it to be reusable. Now, as I want it to be reusable, I'm going to separate two things. Okay? If you think about it, I have to do two two tasks in this. First is nothing but creating a pop-up, and second is creating a record edit form. So there will be a record. Basically, what we are trying to do is there would be a pop-ups. Sorry for my drawing, but yeah, there would be a pop-ups. Right inside this pop-up, there would be my record edit forms. Like fields would be there, right? That's what I want to do. Now, if you think about it. If I do it within within one, everything is done within one component itself. It won't be much reusable. What if I want pop up for some another record edit form? What if I want this record edit form for certain another object? What do I do? So that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the pop up. This would be my pop up. It would be separate and record edit form, which will have the fields incoming. Okay, this will be save button. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this and I'm going to Combine them together, but I won't add every code like th there would be two different components One will be responsible to bring the pop-up and another will be responsible for bringing the record edit form and bringing the fields and saving the record Okay, that's what we are going to do so that our component is reusable and our component can be used in another objects for another objects uh, another record edit forms or Even the pop-up can be added to some another record edit forms, right? So that's what we are going to do so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to just discuss about it and another thing is i am going to divide the overall task into the smaller number of user stories rather than this okay oh, i have already done it already i think so first user story one uh, what i am going to do is i am going to divide this task into the smaller number of chunks so basically first i am going to just build a simple record edit form okay nothing else uh, if we try to do everything at one go it will be much more difficult so instead of that what i'm going to do is i'm going to just build a simple record edit form okay nothing else now note that the fields that will be visible inside the record edit form must be manageable the user should be okay i'm going to user should be able to remove or add the fields in the future as per as the need so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to build a smaller record edit form which will be very independent and the fields that will be coming inside this record edit form must be manageable that's what the requirement is right so if i want to do that I need to bring all those fields from the field set. So let's say there are five fields inside my page. Tomorrow, if I just want four fields or if I want 10 fields, this should be manageable, right? The customer should not always go to the developer and ask to add more fields. Instead, they should be able to do it on their own. So what we are going to do is we are going to bring the fields that are available inside the recorded form from the field sets. Okay, this is the first thing that we are, that's what we are going to build. Next thing is that Let's say if lead source equals to web, in that case, we accordingly need to populate the description and also hide the field. Okay, so next thing I'm going to name it as user story two. I know it does not sound uh, properly, but I'm just trying to divide the overall task. Like how do we divide the task? That's what we are going to learn in this videos as well. And this would be user story three. Right. So in user story two, what we are going to do is if lead source is web, right? If my lead source, if I'm selecting inside the contact and if my lead source is equals to web, then in that case, I'm going to populate the description that let's say the I'm going to populate the description. Let's say the contact is received from lead. Okay, that's what we are going to talk, talk, type inside the description. Another thing is that we are going to hide the field. Which field we are going to hide? We are going to hide, let's say, Uh, let's say we are going to hide the uh, let's say reporting account number okay we are going to hide this field as soon as the lead source equals to it okay we are going to hide this field user story 3 we are going to manage the validations right so now there are two validations one is system validation and another thing with another is nothing but the custom validation right if uh, system validation co uh, consists of either required fields right 
and custom validation includes of either uh, error while creating data or it can be even uh, validation rules so we need to handle this inside the user story 3 uh, where we are going to uh, handle the validations that whatever we have right and inside the user story 4 right in user story 4 what we are going to do is we are going to make this form appear inside a pop-up right in in first three user stories we are just building a simple recorded form if user clicks on new they will be going to a normal uh, normal screen another screen and there will be a normal recorded form and they will be able to insert the data that they want but instead in user story 4 we are going to build a pop-up in that pop-up everything behind this would automatically grayed out just like this just like standard uh, it's going to be grayed out and our pop-up must appear at the top right that's what we are going to do and in user story 5 what we are going to do is on click of cancel uh, form should close okay first is thing first thing is first if i click on cancel form should close and save if i click on save and the user should be redirected okay on the user story 5 whenever a user is going to click on cancel form should close and save uh, and it should also save if I click on save button and a user should be automatically redirected to that particular user page okay in user story 4 we are going to add one more thing is that and also show validations just like standard UI so in user story 4 what we are going to do is the validations that you are seeing right now right if i click on this it goes away if i click on this it comes back that's what along with this pop-up we are going to also add the validations inside the pop-up so this is how we will divide the overall task into smaller number of user stories and we are going to build the overall ui so in the next video basically we are just going to build a simple record edit form and just bring the fields from the field sets and in next uh, and so on we are going to build the overall ui as far as the need as far as discussion so stay tuned to watch the next video where I'm going to start building this uh, overall things into smaller number of user story and completely build the overall form. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, uh, please subscribe to this channel.